her car locked its brakes up. I thought it hit another car. It was loud enough, you know, just the bang was loud enough. It was about 6 o'clock Monday night when Robbie Prickett ran out of his house. I come outside and I hear people yelling, screaming, and I'm like, what is going on? Prickett saw the little boy laying in the street. He says the child was trapped under a car. Police say the child wasn't in a crosswalk when he ran into traffic. Prickett and a few others tried to help. Like six or seven of us was trying to pick the car up and get it up off the boy. He says at first the group couldn't lift the car off the little boy. When we picked it up a second time, we got him out from underneath the car. He says at first the boy wasn't moving. Right as the ambulance came, he started to move, and we don't move because you could be hurt real bad, you know, and it was terrible, man. There was blood. I mean, I ain't never seen nothing like that. Louisville Metro Police say they're looking for the driver of a yellow Volkswagen Beetle that looks like this one. It's believed to be one of the three cars to hit the little boy. Police say the car may have damage to the front left and side. But I've never seen nothing like this. I mean, that, yeah. that was horrible. Neighbors say officers had Taylor Boulevard, where the crash happened, blocked off for hours Monday night. It was about 20 cop cars. They had the street blocked off, yellow tape blocking it. I will remember it for the rest of my life. Yeah, yeah it's something that really, it really took effect on me when I seen all that blood and him laying there lifeless. It, it's, it's, it was horrible.